when we are working with tab canvases there is one trigger is related for tab canvases when tab page changed when tab page changed this trigger will be fired whenever we change the tab page this trigger will be fired whenever we change the tab page first we'll see when the trigger will be fired how to test the trigger firing let's create a simple alert let's create the alert and call this alert from the trigger now go to triggers when tab page change we would like to show the alert simple declare here. show underscore alert name of the alert Whenever we change the tab page, the trigger is fine, like this. Let's take simple requirement. Same previous uh, sessions we have discussed. If department is having more than five employees, then only show the others tab page. Otherwise, hide. when department is having more than four employees then only we would like to enable the others tab page otherwise we would like to disable otherwise we would like to disable same trigger we will use when you record instance trigger go to department block triggers when you record instance here first we have to find how many employees are exist in the current department select count employee number into from employee table where department number equal to colon dept dot department number if x is greater than 4 then if x is less than or equal to 4 then I want to disable the tab page how to disable the tab page there is built in procedure there is built in procedure set tab page property there is built in procedure called set tab page property we can set the tab page properties in the runtime Generally, if you want to do it in the designing time, we can do here only. Let us go to tab page, others, properties, we can say visible as no or we can go for enable as no, means it will be disabled. This is at the time of form development, but in the runtime, we would like to do it. When we want to do in the runtime, we will use this procedure set tab page property. Set tab page property. What is the property name? Enabled. 
what are the parameters we have to pass if you pass the tab page name first property name property value this three we have to pass go to trigger site tab page property what is the tab page name o next what is the property name enabled what is the property value false now when we run this form by default tab page is disabled when you get 20th department also for 20th department it is disabled for that if it is not enable twentieth department has got more than four employees that's why it is enabled thirty department more than four employees 40 department are not having more than 4 members it is disabled this message we are getting because uh, still the trigger is firing when tab page changed uh, trigger is there still it is firing that's why we are getting message this is how to enable or disable the tab page programmatically only enable and disable we can do it built in procedure is set tab page property name of the tab page property name and then property value then property value we have to pass this is about uh, tab canvas and tab page uh, hide or display programmatic